<laughs> Twin flames. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> There is so much misinformation around twin flames. And so I just wanted to make this video to clear the air. So one thing I hear a lot that just, just makes me scratch my head is that everyone has a twin flame. We all have twin flames. And then another thing that you hear a lot is that you have to find your twin flame. That's your whole purpose for being here is to find your twin flame. <laughs> That's so ridiculous. And I think a lot of that is has come up because people have become aware of the fact that your own soul is your soulmate then they're like okay well my own soul is my soulmate but i still gotta find somebody else outside of me so let's come up with twin flame <laughs> which actually is a real thing and so but i just want to clear the air on what a twin flame is and the purpose of having a twin flame you know a lot of people do spend a lot of time thinking about where they're gonna go after they die but not many people think about where they were before they were born and so you are a soul encapsulate you are a spirit encapsulated within a soul that is encapsulated within a physical body this is your soul is a fourth dimensional body that uses this third dimensional body to move around in this third dimension and so you incarn into this body and you're tied to it for the entire uh, duration of this physical life. Then once this body dies, then your soul is free to move around and you know do things and create another body and come back into life to somewhere else. The purpose of life mainly is to have these experiences and learn from them and grow from them and, and take the learning that you have from the experiences and make it a part of your soul to move forward throughout the rest of that life and on into future lives. And, and just build on this wealth of knowledge that you receive through experiencing life. Well, what better way to, to learn than to live in two bodies at once? And so it'd be like if you were able to go to college, you could complete college faster if you were able to take two classes at the exact same time, all throughout college. It would take half the time. And so the, the twin flame is the exact same way. It's a soul before it goes into incarnate into a body. And a lot of these, you know, some may have happened just this lifetime, but some may have happened, you know, 10, 20 lifetimes ago, where the soul then splits into two and incarns into two bodies at the same time. That way it can learn and have different experiences at the same time. It's like an animals. Animals do this a lot because it allows them to accelerate their spiritual growth a lot faster like that's why you have like like schools of fish are usually there's an oversoul within all of this group of fish and that's why they can move like one body like birds you know they can move like one body like that because it's one soul experiencing life through these 20 fish or, or 30 birds and so they're able to experience life and grow at a rate 30 times faster then it would be just one bird at a time, one fish at a time. And so we can do that also as uh, with human bodies. And we can grow and experience an entire lifetime and have two lifetimes of learning after those two bodies die to take a part of our soul and move forward. So now we're learning, so now we're moving twice as fast. But not everybody does that. Not every soul needs to do that. You know, maybe you've really used, used your previous lifetimes to the fullest and so you, you are already really progressed in, in your understandings that you have to where you don't need to do that. Or maybe you already did that in previous lifetimes and then afterwards your soul has already come back together to join as one and you're now incarnating into one body. So not everybody is, has a twin flame. You know, Some never do it, some have already done it and completed that and are moved on beyond that. So, but there are people who do do that and are living this current lifetime as having another soul there. Someone that is essentially, from a soul's perspective, a spiritual perspective, the same, not really person, but the same essence, the same soul, the same spirit. Because you're still two different people. You're still, because your conscious mind, your personality and things, is still brand new and only for this lifetime. It, it is born and cultivated and created and then it dies away. It is no longer carried forward with you to the next lifetime. So you are still two different people. So then what is the purpose of a twin flame? Is, is, it, is the purpose to come together and join together? 
No, you'll do that afterwards, after this lifetime. Maybe you'll do that, maybe you'll have another lifetime as separate before you come back together, before you decide you want to come back together. Or maybe you do just find a way to come back together. And that is fine also, but it's not anything that really has to happen. The purpose of it is so that you can experience life twice as fast. But maybe you designed it to where there's a certain entanglement that you create that creates the experience and the opportunity to learn something major that you wanted to learn within this lifetime. So maybe there is this strong thing that happens that a lot of people do talk about, but I just wanted to clear the air on, it's not an absolute. It's not necessary that everyone has to like mix in with their twin flame and have this tumultuous or a magnificent experience with their twin flame. It's different for every single person. And not everybody has a twin flame and that's okay. So, you know, if you're, Someone like me who doesn't have a twin flame, that's so, but it, it's just realize it's okay for other people to have this conversation. And if they don't understand it fully, like how I'm explaining it, that's okay also. It's okay for them to believe whatever they believe, let it go. But for some people who do feel they have a twin flame, I just want to make this video to help you to clear the air and kind of weave and navigate through the bullshit on what is real and what is not. So I hope this video helps you. Like I said, with everything else, don't believe a single word that I just said, but find a way to identify the truth and validity in it with it for yourself. And so with that, as always, I leave you in peace.